Hi, Tien. How are you, my man? Thank you for your time. Really Thank appreciate you so it. Much. Thank you for your time too, sir. Hey, this is Rian. This is Rian, Mac. Hey, Rian. Rian, Mac, where I got a chum. Can I ask, is this a regular occurrence? Do we take our family with us everywhere? Is this yeah, a no, special uh, You yeah, know, it, the kids are too young for them, you know, so we're going to dip in, show them all this. You know, they were there when I was practicing the role, wondering what their daddy was doing, talking to a wall. When I was practic practicing my lines, I was looking at a spot on the wall. And then I turned around one day and the kids were there staring up at their father. So, you know, I've been telling them about the movie. And, you know, here we are. Let, let, let my mo I'm here with my mother also, my father, my sister. So they're going to see the movie for the first time. So I'm very excited about that. I mean, I'm going to take the kids out for a bit of food while everyone watches the movie. Yeah, the, uh, the movie's had great reviews so far. Your performance has had great reviews so far. Yeah. You're Conor McGregor and you have to be a showman of sorts, but how hard did you find it to transition to acting? You know, I feel like I'm show business. I'm not, you know, I feel like I am show business. As far as I'm, am I an actor, I don't feel that. So I just took advice from the cast. You know, I had an amazing, amazingly experienced team in Jake Gyllenhaal, director Doug Lyman, uh, producer Joel Silver. These guys, these guys are veterans of the game. So I just showed up, took direction, added a bit of my own splash, and there was what we got. He, uh, he said that you told him that you were a white belt when it came to acting yeah. when he came in. So did he give you any wisdom, any any uh, line that stuck with you to help you act? Uh, I, I was forever questioning him. You know, I had so many questions for him nonstop. Even still today, I had a question for Lucas, who played Billy. He was talking about like maybe over -pre preparing for the role. And I felt I might have done a bit of that. Looking back, I might have been like drilling the lines and getting different variations and moods of each line. And I just felt like I probably went too much. You know, and when he said that today, we were doing a QA, and a I was like, that makes so much sense to me because you gotta trust your instinct. It's you, you know, you gotta bring the character in yourself. And if you over, you know, over read it, but you know, it's a learning curve. I had a great time doing it. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you so much. I take it, Daddy Duty's always come Daddy first. Daddy Duty's, that's it. I'm nothing without my family, you know. So I'm so happy to have my family here. I feel like I'm at home. No matter where I am in the world, I have my family with me. So I'm ecstatic about that. Oh. I'm gonna go for the, obviously the kids are a little bit young to watch this movie. So we go and have a little bit of food. You can do that. You can hide by the He just goes like, oh, I'm blessed. Listen, you're still the show in this. What was this whole experience like for you? You know, hard work, very hard work, hard work to prepare for it physically and then hard work to prepare, you know, verbally and mentally and, you know, it was tough, but I had a great cast, a great co-star in Jake Gyllenhaal that helped me tremendously. Director Doug Lyman was a stud for me, really made me, made me believe I was the best and, you know, gave me free reign to do a lot of stuff. So we came out with some good stuff and I hope the fans enjoy it. And you're a movie star now, is that your new life? Oh, uh, you know, back to, back to regroup in the, into the octagon for me. Right, and it's loads more for me in the octagon. Lovely to see you, thank you so much.